Using Picture Plot, this is a new app that came along with um, Operating System 2, so you might not have it. You may need to update your ClassPad first, but let's tap onto Picture Plot. Now, in here, um, File, New, and it's Reset. If we want to start by putting in a picture here, we need to go to File, Open, and head into your Picture folder. Um, you can make your own pictures, but we'll address that in a separate um, video. So, but here's the ones that come pre-installed on ClassPad in the picture folder. And if I scroll down, there's a, quite a lot here. Um, you can get a print out of all the pictures of the edu.casio.com website. I'm going to choose Steel Tower for today, so we'll open this one up. And there it is. It's a picture of a steel tower. Now, um, if you're not happy with, if it's a little bit overbearing the color, you can't see the axes, under File, Fade In Out, we can actually adjust the brightness here of the picture. You can hardly see it there. Let's bring it back. 20% looks fine, so we tap OK. So you can adjust the contrast uh, and brightness of the picture. Um, if I tap onto View Toggle Axes, you'll notice now we've got some dots. Now you can use that or on the go right over here. Here it is as well, this little uh, button here. Now as you toggle it, we get no axes at all. We get um, just the axes without scale, with scale, with dots, and eventually we've got a grid overlay. Sometimes that can help you to actually sort of work out what is the equation maybe of this strut down here. So we'll head back and um, Let's tap on to the graph editor here, the Y1, Y2, uh, which is um, now, let's use the red function here, PY2, and I'm gonna go for a ge very general function of a straight line. So I'm going to the variable tab, and I'm gonna tap in MX plus C, the standard equation of a straight line, and we'll try and figure out what M and C are to fit um, a straight line to this. So once we've set up our equation, if we actually knew the, the actual values of M and C, we could tap draw and see how well our line fits. But let's go for dynamic and at least one parameter. Well, that just reminds me that I've actually got to select the graph at the same time. Here we go, tap dynamic again. And you'll notice we've got a couple of sliders have shown up on the graph here and they're pink to remind us it's for the um, red line here. Now, we could tap on the gradient, increase it slightly. That's better. Remember, we're going to try and model this line here. Tap it again. Ah, oh, pretty close. Let's increase C. So if I tap up on C, you can see that's starting to move the line up to where we want it. Um, I could drag the slider if I'm impatient, but uh, maybe down a bit. Now, you can see we're kind of close, but um, the gradient obviously needs to be, well, let's try it. No, that's too steep. And that's still too steep. And that's not steep enough. So M is somewhere between two and three. So now I can tap onto the options, settings, choose the M parameter, and let's go somewhere between two and three. And maybe we choose increments of 0 0.1 or however, whatever increment you think would be suitable there, we tap OK. And now let's try, we've got finer control now. Ah, there, we're getting there. Maybe it's somewhere around there. Now we want to obviously do the same on C because it looks like that's too high, that's too low. So if we tap on the settings again, but this time we can choose between slider one and slider two, tapping on the tabs here for C. Um, let's go from, it's about eight. Let's go from somewhere like seven to nine in steps of 0 0.25 on that one and then say okay. And so here we go. Let's start micro adjusting C. And it looks like we've done a pretty good job there of finding it. So um, using the sliders, we've managed to fit a straight line to this side. The gradient is two and a half and the Y intercept 8.5. Um, well, uh, obviously you can try this with different pictures and so on. Um, you can also, there's an auto play. We could auto play on the, um, the, the Y intercept here. 
and watch what's happening it sort of animates a little bit and reinforces the idea that the y intercept is just changing where the line is cutting the axes up over here